Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to continue our deep dive into everything that is ClickFunnels 2.0, and we're going to look at the universal sections. Now, the universal sections are going to be super cool, especially if you had worked in 1.0 for any period of time. You found that every time, if you had a particular header that you liked or a particular footer that you liked, you had to basically rebuild it on every single page, or you could save it as a section and then you'd have to remember what the section name was and go into your list of sections and, and pull it out for each one. Or every time you wanted to do it, you'd have to find an old site, copy it off of that one, uh, save it as a section, and then reuse it somewhere else. And so it was always kind of a bit tedious. And then the worst part was, is let's say that some information in that footer that you've been using on 50 different funnel pages, all of a sudden some of that information uh, changes, an address changes, a phone number changes. Uh, those things are certainly simple enough to change. Or you want to add another link or a link, um, the URL to a link changes. There's all kinds of reasons that it just caused headaches. Well, here we can create universal sections. You can use them as headers. You could use them as footers. You could use them as sidebars. You can use them in funnels. You can use them on any kind of a page, and you can also use them on a blog post. So again, they're not only universal sections, but they're also universal in where they can be used. And again, like most things in 2.0 here, extremely simple to set up. So we're going to come in and we're going to create ourselves a quick section. Let's just make it a two column row. And then let's say on the left, we're going to put in an image because we want to put like some sort of a logo in there. And then maybe on the right hand side, we're going to have a headline. Let's see if that's not where I wanted it. So let's move that headline over here. And then let's see if I can find an image in here real quick that's going to look uh, remotely like a logo. Uh, let me see here. Pretty sure I had a logo in here floating around somewhere. Um, let's just, for sake of brevity, let's just put in this uh, blue background image here. And so close enough. So here we go. We got our section and we're going to save this section now as a universal section. So we're going to come over here and click on our save button. And we're going to say here, we're just going to say we want this to be a demo uni section and we can put it in a folder if you would like as of right now it doesn't appear as though the folders are currently working and we're going to make this a universal section and we can give it a description down here if you would like and then we're just going to say we want to save this section so now there we go our section is saving now we come in here you're going to see we got this dark color over the top of it and again, let's say we want to use this as a header. So think in terms of here's our logo on the left, maybe a little bit of text on the right, a saying or something that we use, or it could be a phone number. It could be anything you wanted over here on the right. Uh, obviously, use your imagination. But what do you normally also have in a header when you're building a website? Now, again, this isn't something you would use on a funnel necessarily, but if you're building a website, you're building a blog, you're building a blog post or blog page, an about page, a mission statement page, anything like that, you're going to want to have in here a navigation element. So what we can say is we want to come up here and edit this section. But now for this navigation element, we want the background color to be different for the entirety of the section and go across the entirety of the page. So what we're going to do is inside of this universal section, we're going to add another section. So we're going to click on this and we're going to just say a uh, one column row inside of the section we just created. And now we're going to put in our navigation element. And then this entire section here, let's just say we're going to give this a background color and we're going to go there and the background color, let's make it kind of a, a bluish color so we can still see the black behind it. There we go. Now we can move this above it or we can leave it how it is. But again, like I said, imagine these are much shorter image of your logo, some text here, 
and then below it we have our navigation with all of our stuff like i said your about page your blog page your content your mission and possibly links out to funnels as well or other pages that you have as standalone pages so now we're going to save this as our universal section see we're still in here editing that universal section and yet we still added another section to it so we're going to save that as a universal section and now here we go this is now our universal section on the page. We can come in and below this, we can add a section that we're gonna use for regular content now, and we can just start building our page, our funnel, our whatever we have right below it here, and we'll create this regular section, and then we'll have a universal one above it. And then of course, you can do the exact opposite at the bottom of your page, and I'll just put something in here very quickly. Oh, let's say in this case here, we're gonna do a three column, row and on the left hand side we're gonna again let's you're gonna put in an image there and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna add a headline and then a sub headline and a couple sub headlines because we're gonna put in a couple of links there so we got a header and then we got again three links down at the bottom we could put social icons down here put whatever we want and now we're going to save this section and let's just call this here our demo footer because we were pretending the top one was our uh, header and we're just going to say this and we are going to save and there we go we should have it all done so we got a footer and a header section all set with a little bit of content in between and we will save this page now let's say we want to go to another page and we want to use those exact same elements so i'm in a different page i'm going to say add a section come to my assets come to universal sections and in this case here we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom because these were the ones that were most recently made and so here we got the demo uni section here we got our demo footer so let's pop in that universal section which is our head section and then we're going to add another section in between here and we'll make it a two column row and i'll put in a header and an image right there and then we're going to put in our footer section universal right there and so now we're going to put in our footer section and there we go we just built ourselves a page by having these two sections already completely built ahead of time. Now, because these are universal sections, here is the one caveat that you gotta be very careful about is any changes you make in any one of these sections, no matter where they're hanging out, is going to be reflected across everything, okay? So now we have this universal section here, and we say, okay, let's edit the universal section. So I just clicked on it, and it opened up sidebar, or I could have just gone up and clicked on the gear, of course. And now in here, let's put in, let's just put in some bullet points so they kind of stand out a little bit. We change that, we save this. We're going to save the page now. And now what's gonna happen is when we go back into our demo test page, you're going to find that absolutely is nothing is in here. And so let me reload the page. If you ever have that happen, if you come back into a page and there's nothing there, it's a caching issue most of the time, except for right now, because apparently something got messed up. But so we can still go to our universal sections and see what happened. And we'll come all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to go here, our demo uni section. Well, let's put in the demo footer. Let's start with that. Okay. So now let's put in the demo uni section. But you can see in here now that the content that I changed on the other page is changed here as well. So that's what I was trying to show you. If you change that on the other page, it's going to be changed when you come back into here. So if you want to use a section like this and you want to make a change to it, but not change all the rest of the pages, let's come back into our test page here. We don't need to save that. Come back into our test page. If I wanted to make this change and not change it at the universal level, let's come down here and do it down here. Um, 
if I wanted to do that, what I would do is click on this and say unlink it, or I could just click on the section in general or edit it, and we could say unlink the universal section. So I pulled it in as a universal section because I want to use it, but now in here, say, oh, I, I don't want that. I want to put this paragraph down here, but I don't want that paragraph reflected across all the rest of the pages. Then you can do that like that and put it in there, but again, you got to be aware that once you do that, this thing is not going to automatically update when you update all of the other pages that have that universal section on it. So I think that's about it. I don't think there's really anything else I can tell you about universal pages. Just build them, use them across all your pages, across all your blogs, however you would like. You can put two sections into a universal sec section, but you got to create one section first save it as a universal section, and then modify it by putting in another section or any other content you want. And then again, any modification you make going forward will be reflected across every single page where that universal section resides. So if you got any questions, just let me know.